Hey, hey, hey there, everybody! So, Xavier here, welcome you to another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we continued solving the many mysteries of the Excess Express and also learned that someone on the train has stolen the ingredients in order to create this sticky, yummy threat using the Hydro Honey Syrup that the businessman had acquired. Anyway, in this episode, we will try to find this so-called person, the perpetrator who has stolen these ingredients. We believe that he is the inhabitant of cabin, or car, not cabin, I guess you could call it a cabin, car one, who is the zip toad. So we must go back and investigate. Let's see, let's see if he, uh, maybe the zip toad is catching on to us. Maybe he's dropping some stuff in our room. I'm, I'm pretty confident that something happens in Mario's room. I couldn't remember. Oh, I was right, you guys. What I tell you, I was right. Could this be another clue? Another document from the briefcase! That's what's supposed to be hiding in here somewhere! Yes, Vivian, you're right. And with your help, we shall find this horrible, horrible person. Oh, and there we have it. We have caught him red-handed. So, where'd you guys come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy. Oh, oh, and he thinks he can run from us. Oh, you, you bastard. Let's catch this guy. Okay, okay, oh. Okay, we got you. We got you, man. Oh, ho, ho. youch! We totally blocked you, boy. We caught him red-handed, planting crap in my room. So this was your, this was your man all along, pretending to be Zip Toad. I see. All while pilfering things from the other to aid your evil plan. Hm. I say this was all just a decided to do. I knew all along you were a fake. Yes, it is colored nostril hair. Tip me off. Wow, you are obscenely observant, my friend. You are kind of a freak. Anyway, and not only that, but I knew you were the one who threatened Luigi. Curses, I almost got away with it by getting off at Riverside Station, too. Yes, you played a daring and genius little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, fiend, and the good people on this train are now safe. That is correct, sir. No one escaped from this improbably large brain. Ahem. Now, yes, see any in any case. <sighs> at least I'll return what you've stolen, Fink. Ugh. We got a briefcase, we got a golden ring, and we got shell earrings. We got, yes, we got everything that was stolen. Ah, my precious briefcase! Is that the honey nitro syrup safe? Here's the briefcase, my good sir. The briefcase was returned. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. The stars, the, thank, the stars are safe, and I won't be able to get set. Our rendezvous with disaster was, oh, mm, excuse me. I just ate in the recording session, and I'm burping. Oh my god, you guys. I'm sorry. Anyway, our rendezvous with disaster was diffused by my most rudimentary of detections. Bing bong, bing bong. Attention, all passengers. This train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. It seems we are making a temporary stop on our trek. And there we go. Riverside Station. This will be the only, one and only time that the train actually makes a stop on the way to Poshley Heights. There we go, the fake zip toad. Get out of here. Give him the boot. Well, hey, I'm not, I, I think not, Slick. You think you can hold me? No way. Beldum will flip the hell if that happen. And with that, oh my goodness, we learned that the zip toad was actually dupless. Of all people in the world, the fourth boss, the fourth chapter, the guy who's turning the Twilight Towners into pigs, is making a return back into the story. He is not dead, my friends. He is back with a vengeance. Anyway, <laughs> this whole zip toad thing is just a means to an end. It's me, suckers, dupless. Bellum's plan is to goofy Mario. It didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running now. I'll leave the rest of you, Beldum. See ya, suckers. That, my friends threw me for a loop the first time I played this game. That was very surprising. I did not see that coming. Anyway, now that we have learned that Dupless was behind a lot of this, and Beldum was the actual person who was giving us that threat, which was very, very, very odd. We seemed like Vivian had it right all along. Good thing we had Vivian out. She get, she tipped me off. She knew it was Beldum. Her sister. She's got that sister's intuition, my friends. That sister's intuition. Anyway, now that we have stopped, we can take the advantage now to return some of these items. Yes. We found your gold ring there, lady. I'm not doing your voice because it hurt my throat. And she gives us 30 coins. Thanks, bro. Anyway, she thinks we're attractive, but only gives us 30 coins for our troubles. Bitch! <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Anyway, let us continue. Um, 
What was I going to say? Let's continue returning the items. Let's go return the waitress of shell earrings to her. There you are, dear. Oh, did you find them? My shell earrings? Here you are. Oh, there they are. There's my earrings. Thank you so much. And hey, before I forget, take this as my thanks. Wink. Yes, the waitress who serves, t who waits tables to make her living gives us a star piece. A piece of a star. Where the... Yes, we are the nicest mustached overall wearing guy she's ever met. Anyway, she's probably met a hundred of them. Filthy, filthy girl. Anyway, no, I'm just kidding. But yes, the girl, the waitress, gives us a star piece, and the freaking rich, attractive toad gives us a freaking 30 coins. I am, I am, I am outraged, my friends. I am thoroughly, thoroughly outraged. Okay, where is the exit? Because I need to get off. There it is. Yes, my friends, we are making our first stop. Let's see what we have here. Hey there, sorry about that guys, I got interrupted by something that I had to take care of real fast, but we are back. I apologize once more for the interruption, let us continue. Anyway, we've arrived at the Riverside Station, as you can see all the passengers have gotten out to uh, stretch their legs probably, because we've been on the train for a while, makes sense. Oh no, what do we do? Someone's up to the drawbridge, the train can't leave the station like this! Oh my goodness, you're right my good sir, someone has up the drawbridge, this is unfortunate. What did you do? I saw a suspicious looking shadowy person wearing a hat going to the station. He must have gone down to the bridge to the roof off the switch there! Uh, oh my god, I'm burping so much this recording, I'm sorry you guys. <laughs> but <laughs> Let me sorry, start over. Woo! But that switch hasn't been used in so long I don't know where the control room is. So um it's probably against protocol to ask a passenger to do this, but since you are the famous Mario and all, could you find a way to throw that switch? Maybe? Sure thing, my friend. Really that would be super! Well, here's the station key! Thank you, a station key. Open station. Very redundant statement. Station key, open station. Duh. Anyway, yes, we finally have some recognition from being the Super Mario. Super Mario, getting my Mario on. Anyway, I don't know why I'm saying Mario like that. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, we're going to save a little bit. Oh, we're not going to save again. That's redundant. And we're going to go inside Riverside Station and see what it has in store for us. And I will disclaim a warning here, my friends. I have not run through this area in so freaking long. It's gonna I'm gonna do some exploring myself to make sure I don't miss anything. For starters, we got a badge up there. We can unfortunately not get that right now. However, we will get a resource or some sort of gadget or tool to get it very, very soon. So let us see, what do we have in here? For starters, we have a 2B roll up thing. Let us see what is in here. Oh, it seems we have a switch. Let's hit that switch. Whoop, 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 whoop. Once again, more marvelous paper physics, my friends. Marvelous. I actually do really enjoy this paper physics in these games, guys. It makes it all the more enjoyable. It is Paper Mario, after all. Gotta throw some paper in there somewhere. Seems we have a lock right there. Can't do nothing about that now, can we? I say, can't do nothing about that now, can we? So let's just ascend the stairs instead. What is here? What is in here, my friends? Let's find out. Oh, a puff! New enemies! Let us see what we have here. We have the Rough Puff. If you guys have played the original Paper Mario, you will recognize these guys from Chapter 6. These are your traditional little puffy cloud guys. I don't really know what else to say about them, but uh, we're going to kill them. We're going to murder them and their families so they do not reproduce and cause more problems for us in the future. That was a vile, horrible thing to say, my friends. I am sorry. With Vivian upgraded, upgraded to Ultra Rank, she now does 6 damage. Very nice. She's hitting a little harder, but that's good. Anyway, let us get her in the action first. Let's have her suck this rough puff in the fucking face. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. That was uh, vulgar of me. I'm sorry. Did I mean to say that? I'm, I'm saying a little bit of profane stuff, but I don't want to say that word. That word's the no-no word, my friends. What? Oh, the freaking fog. God. Well, at least eye for an eye, my friend. At least eye for an eye. Don't think that was the right saying, dude, there, but I'm saying it anyway. Yes, burn damage. Very good. And with this hammer, we finish the fight. Marvelous, my friends. Marvelous. Six star points. Very good. Alrighty. Now that, oh, now that we have fought one, I'm probably going to start skipping the rest of the fights. Alright. Guys, we're going to beat these rough puffs, and I'll see you in a bit. Very, very nice, my friends. Another round of rough puffs defeated. Anyway, what do we have in here? It seems that we have another staircase. 
And once again, I will comment on the fact that I think it's hilarious that Vivian's body has to constantly be touching the ground, so she does crap that looks like that. Ugh, it looks so silly. Uh-oh. It seems we have some platforming, my friends! <laughs> oh no. Okay. Uh, let's figure out these patterns for a sec. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, and let's go- Oh! Wonderful, first try. I did not expect to be able to do that first try. Alrighty, um... Seems we got a lot of gears and mechanisms and junk up in here. Um, what's back here? Oh, no, star piece. Very nice. That's the only star piece for the area. All right. So it seems we got some more platforming on our hands, guys. So let's uh, let's get down to business and do some platforming. And I'm already done because I'm that much of a man. I'll make a key. Come to me. Yes, we got another uh, station key. I'm sorry I messed through that. And we have we got Coops out. Coops out here for once, man. Let's let's stick with let's stick with our man Coops for a little while. Let's see what he's doing. Sorry, I'm talking in front of voice like that, guys. Sorry, talking in front of voice like that, man, man, man. Anyway, yes, let's, we're gonna let's stick, let's keep Coops out here for a little while, guys. We haven't Coops hasn't got a chance to see the light of day in a while, so let's keep him out for a little while. See what he's got going for us. Alrighty, now we are outside. Look at that beautiful sunset. Oh, a poison pokey. Let's kill it. A poison pokey? Ah, yes. Huh. Nothing really new here. Generic pokey enemy. Uh, a little bit more HP, but the addition they do have um, the chance to poison you on contact, as their names are poison pokies. You would kind of infer that that would make sense. Anyway, uh, with that, yeah, we are going to finish off the poison pokies. Obviously. Sorry. The one thing that I have yet to master in uh, the art of the commentary over playing Paper Mario is to what to talk about while I battle enemies. I don't really have much to say when I battle enemies. They just kind of, they just kind of sit there and oh, you know, I didn't get it. They just kind of sit there and do their thing while I uh, kill them. So I don't really know what to say. Maybe we'll fix that in later episodes when I'll be able to commentate over nonsense like this better, more appropriately, and more interesting. And with that, we smack him in the face. And there we go. We don't actually smack him in the face. We smack him in the body, but we still kill him. Very good, my friends. Very good. Alrighty. Oh, another poison pokey. Let's kill it. And there we go. Another poison pokey down. And why is there a block here that's already been hit? Oh, that is why. That was completed. And I actually did not know that was there. That's a good thing for me, I guess, then. Oh, we have a very wonderfully placed giant spread for us. <laughs> Sorry about that awkward interruption there, guys. I just got rather... Okay, there we go. It wasn't actually... Okay, it wasn't letting me hit it for a second. I thought it was just like, oh, you gotta do something else in order to be able to get this particular one. Oh, 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 we're gonna use Koops' Oh, there we go. Sniped. Haha, <laughs> another snipe. And we are going to snipe this pokey as well. Are you ready for this, my friends? Are you ready? Boom! Headshot! Yes. Oh my gosh, okay, sorry, I was kind of thrown off there for a second. I remember in the last two fights that I've gotten, I've actually gotten two almost poison roulette things come up twice in a row, and I, I almost nearly avoided getting hit by those. I have not gotten hit by one of those yet in the project, and I'm not looking forward to when I do. Anyway, if you saw there for a brief moment, there was actually an HP plus badge. If I remember seriously correct, no, I was pretty sure you did that. Uh, is that, you just not do it at that one? I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm nervous. I don't know what to do. I'm pretty sure that's what you do, but I don't know. I'm scared. Save me. Uh, I feel like if I don't get that, people are going to be like, Why did you get the SP Plus badge? You should get your feeling. Uh, I don't, I don't want to get it, you guys. I don't care. I don't, I don't care about nothing. Anyway, we're going to forget that for right now, and then we're going to go forward and use Flurry to blow away these papers. To, oh, she needs to blow some more. Blow more, Flurry. Yes, I mean, the number of times you've heard that's probably astounding. Anyway. And with that, the chestiest woman in the world has revealed the way for us. And died having a strange bit of lag there for a moment. So let's, I, okay, that was really strange. I had like some really awkward lag going on there for a moment. Anyway. Now that we've gotten to this section of the room, I'm going to end the video here, you guys, because we're dragging on for a bit too long. Anyway, all right, in the next episode of Let's Play Paper Mario in the Thousand Year Door, we will continue our way through Riverside Station, hopefully find the switch that will lower the drawbridge, and maybe find some other useful goodies along the way. Alrighty, guys, if you're liking what you're seeing, subs subscribe, like, leave some comments, let me know what you're liking, let me know what you're liking. And with that...
Pow! I'm gone.